Welcome. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to create your first Symbaloo web mix and add a few tiles to it. We'll begin creating our new web mix by clicking the plus sign. Type in the name of your web mix in this box. You might want to name it something to do with your class, your subject, the topic. Make it easy to remember. Now just click the Add button to finish. This is what every blank web mix will look like. You'll notice that you have uh, squares in, a, in an array on the screen, a search box in the middle, and uh, a black background at this point. All of these things can be changed. We'll show you some of them and others you'll be able to learn later on. You'll always be able to find your web mix in the tabs at the top of the grid area. You can change the background of your web mix to make it more colorful or attractive to your students. Click the menu button on the left side of the screen to see your options. Click the pencil to the right of your class web mix to start making changes. Click anywhere on the change wallpaper line to open up the editing options. After scrolling down a bit, you'll see that we can choose a solid color for a background or we can select any of the pictures in the gallery. You can always make changes, so let's just try another one. Now that we're done changing our background, let's click the X to close the wallpaper options. And let's also close the menu by clicking the X at the top of that window. Now we'll start creating some tiles. Well, there are several different types of resources that you can add to a web mix, we're going to start by just showing you how to add tiles, which often let you quickly add links to big websites. First, click the Tiles option. Then, let's type in a search item in the search box. Now we'll just click the magnifying glass and we'll find a bunch of tiles related to National Geographic Kids. This looks like a great one, so let's drag it over to our web mix and drop it on an empty spot in the grid. If we don't like where we put it, we can always pick it up and drag it to other spaces at any time. You're not always going to find a tile for every web page you want to use, so let's find out how to add a specific web page as a tile to our class symbol. Click the web option to search for a web resource. Now type in a search term that will help you find a good web resource for this topic. When you're done, click the magnifying glass, which will open the search results in a new tab. You'll see that this just does a Google search for you. Looking down the page, I find one that looks pretty good, so I'll click on it to view the page. I decide I want to include this page in my web mix, so I'm going to click to select the URL for this page. To copy the URL, press Ctrl-C or right-click and copy while the URL is selected. On a Chromebook, you would two-finger click the URL. Now that we've copied our URL, we'll switch back to our Symbaloo web mix. Hover over any space and click Add a new tile. Click the arrowhead to open up the tile options. Right-click and paste your URL in the address box. Now click in the name box and we'll give our tile a name to display. Now we'll scroll down a bit so that we can manage the image that's going to appear in our tile. As you'll notice, you can just change the color of your tile as well. Symbaloo will try to find pictures on the web page that you can use on your tile. Let's click on the bare image to use it. The box that you see in the middle of the picture is what is going to display on the tile. We want to display this whole picture of the bear, so let's grab one of the corner handles and stretch it so that we can make it cover the whole bear. Once you have the area selected that you want to display on your tile, click the green button to end this process. That's all the edits that we'll do at this time, so we'll click Save and we'll be able to see our tile on the grid. We can right-click or do a two-finger tap on a Chromebook 
to make changes to any tile in our web mix. Select Edit from the drop-down menu that appears. This will open up the same pane you saw when you were creating the tile. We'll make a quick change to the appearance of this tile. First, check the box next to Show Text. This will show the name right on the tile. Click in the Name area and let's make some changes to the title. We're done, so let's scroll down and save our changes. And you can see our changes to the tile. And not to be a broken record, but we can always move the tiles around and organize them by topics, by subjects, by grade levels, whatever makes sense for your resource page. So there is your start to creating a Symbaloo web mix. Notice you can add many resources to your web mix, including other web mixes. You can share with other teachers, and make it really easy to build these for almost any subject or topic you want.